In part one, we unboxed and set up the brushless MakerFire Armor 90. Finally, it's time to test fly it. Enjoy the video, comment below, and please smash that subscribe button to help us grow the channel. Usual useless English weather, but I've got the Armour 90 here, a really, really unusual looking quad. And this is gonna be quite interesting. So we're outside for this one because it is brushless. It's got plenty of power. Uh, I've got the battery in there, 2S. So let's do the Laws flight, arm it, and up we go. Oh, it's so quiet and whiny. <laughs> now there is quite a bit of breeze today. Uh, and you can see me having to fight against that already. But let's take it for a little fly around. Oh, it's so quick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now you've got to be careful with tiny little brushless quads like this on line of sight because you can very easily lose sight of it. And also the orientation of this one's quite tricky because it's got its enclosed little motors. Anyway, let's go for the punch test and see how it performs, even though it's windy. So three, two, one. <laughs> Not anything to write home about, but <laughs> bear in mind this is a tiny, tiny little 90 class quad, so that's not bad at all. Now, I've only got one battery for this because I didn't have any batteries of XT30 connectors. So let's quickly do some acro and just see what it's like. So, wee! <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> so, perfectly capable on the acro side. <laughs> And uh, yeah, not so bad. Now I do only have one battery. So as I said, let's get this FPV tested. Oi! <laughs> now that's the great thing about these prop guards. You can bounce it off things. <laughs> there we go, tree test. Let's do that again. Oi! Oh, yay! <laughs> okay, anyway, FPV time. Now it is really windy and so hopefully you can still hear me through the microphone I've got. But here we go, FPV test for the Armour 90 and you can see that the camera is actually quite nice. It is a CMOS camera so obviously we get that darkness lightness when we transition from ground to sky but overall that picture is quite nice. It looks like that lens could do with a little bit of a refocusing but otherwise not bad at all. You can see the OSD as well, we've got nice clear uh, font on there uh, straight from the factory and I've not altered this OSD so this is how it comes and yeah looks good we've got a fully charged battery now this is a I've actually recharged the battery so we can get a full proper FPV flight test so let's give this a go so straight into rate mode arm it and we're up oh wow so just as with the loss flight really this thing flies really really nicely and it doesn't actually feel like you're flying a micro quad because it just flies so well. Um, it is brushless, so loads of power then if we just do a little punch. <laughs> yeah, nice. I mean, this is a micro quad. Can't expect dark max powers out of everything, but this, this goes really, really nicely. Really, really nicely. <laughs> In and out of the trees. Now, the good thing about this is when you are proximity flying, because it's so small, you don't need to be so worried about the proximity. Uh, <laughs> but this goes absolutely brilliantly. Um, stock roll uh, speed is pretty casual. Uh, but I tell you what, considering the tiny, tiny little FT, considering the tiny, tiny little VTX antenna it's got, this picture is really nice. Now, you can't alter the tilt on this camera, unfortunately because I would have liked it tilting up a bit so we can get a bit more speed. Now you can see downwind, wow, we go a hell of a rate. <laughs> In fact, I nearly fell over then. I should really sit down when I fly FPV. <laughs> but <laughs> this is going into wind now and it's getting all right. You know, but as soon as we turn downwind, here we go, Whee! oh yeah. This just goes absolutely brilliantly. Really, really nice. And yeah, a little bit of a stunt, Whee! A little bit of a loop. Let's see if we can fly under the bench. Now, this is going to be a challenge. I can't believe the range from this. It's a 25 milliwatt VTX, this, and a tiny, tiny little dipole antenna. And yet, look at the quality of that picture. Uh, now, I've got to keep an arm of voltage. This is a 2S battery. 
Uh, now this is going to be challenging because of the wind, so probably not going to actually be able to do this. Uh, but let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, yay! <laughs> Celebration loop. We are getting a battery warning. We've been flying for two minutes and we are in windy conditions, so the battery's being stressed much more than it would be normally. Um, I was at full throttle then, that's why the battery warning came up. You can see it's disappeared now because we're going downwind. But wow, this is just brilliant. And because you've got the prop guards on here, the shrouded props, you can fly this thing indoors um, and not be too worried about hitting things. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. I think this is a really successful flight test, largely because I haven't crashed and it's been so cold recently. My hands have been numb and I've been doing a lot of crashing. But I love the Armour 90. It is a bit expensive for what it is, so wait for it to perhaps be on a, a flash sale or something similar. But this is a great little quad, loads of power. Batteries are super cheap for it. VTX is really impressive as well. And Ah, oh, tried to fly between my legs and failed miserably. But yeah, in general, this is a really good little quad. I'll put some positives and negatives up on the screen now. Links to it are in the video description. And if you want to buy one, click our link and you support our channel by doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe. Thanks, guys.